Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, one of you he sent me uh, a request saying that a Muslim he sent him uh, like uh, from the BBC, BBC website speaking about Muslim scientists and what they provided for the world. And I find it very funny and very stupid idea to prove a religion through such a thing. Because if this is the way we prove who is right in, in the idea of belief, that means we'll, the Christians will be the major and I think maybe the Jews will be one of the favorite. Uh, I mean, the Jews, they have an amazing number of how many scientists, which providing uh, provided a lot of discoveries and scientific uh, uh, discovery. Uh, and Muslims will be always at the list, at the end of the list. So if we can find five, six, seven, eight from the Muslims, then what about the millions we will find from other belief, including the Buddhas, the Chinese, etc. You know? But uh, just to show you how silly this argument is, None of those, they call them Muslim scientists, as we see in the screen. None of them is a Muslim. If I go right now to YouTube, I will find tons of Islamic videos made by the scholars saying those are kuffar, they are atheists, they are against Allah, they are etc. Let us take a look. Here in the front of us, as you see, there is a collection of uh, uh, videos. And all of them, they are saying the same. Those are kuffar, mulhid. Atheist. <laughs> Let us see, just to give you an idea. Ibn Sina is the sheikh of all criminals because he believed that Allah do not know, which means Allah is like ignorant and he, is, he cannot be God. So, uh, so you made him a Muslim. You you made a guy Ibn Sina. You made him a Muslim. He believed that Allah do not know, which means Allah does not exist. Continue. <laughs> And he's talking now about Abu Khawarizmi, how Al Khawarizmi, his teaching is all about being atheist, not about being Muslim. What what the scholars, Islamic scholars, they say about Ibn Sina and Al Farabi, very well known uh, scientists. The Muslim they call them Muslims, but look what the what the scholars they say. Listen carefully. Ibn Sina and Al Farabi, المتقدمين هو كلامه ليس من الإسلام شيء وتسم ونسبته من الإسلام أو فلاسفة الإسلام هذا قول باطل وتزويد. Those uh, names of uh, those are philosophers from the past, and anyone who claim that they are Muslims, this is a fabrication, this is a deception, and this is a false statement. They have nothing to do with Islam, and they never taught about Islam, and they are not Muslims. وتلميس their teaching is totally rejected. What? <laughs> the scholars they agree all of them that they are. They, they must be kuffar. They are must be considered kuffar. They are Muslims. This guy again he's attacking Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina is filthy, he is a Khabith, he is a Qurmati. Qurmati is the one who destroyed the Kaaba and he was screaming to Allah saying, what is your birds, you liar? What is the birds who protect the Kaaba? So, I mean, there's tons of videos showing you that all those who they, they, claim, they, they claim their names, they speak about them, they are not Muslims and they have nothing to do with Islam. So, all those who they call them Muslim scientists, they are not Muslim scientists. But because you have a bankruptcy, you try to make them scientists. Hmm? Okay, let us see. Uh, 
الكاريزما هذا برضك مع الرغم من جهد الكبير في مسائل الفيزياء ولا احب ان يسمها الطبيعه ينبغي لهم هو سيم اتاكين الخوارزمي اتاكين ابن سينا اند ذا جايز اند هيم ليتر سين الخوارزمي سيد ابن سينا سيد هي سيز يو وات يو ار ستك وذ ذوز ذوز ار نوت ذي ار نوت مسلم سو هير يو سي ذا فابريكيشن هاو ذي تراي تو ميك اسلام از ا جود ريليجن by people who did even they are not muslims and the muslims consider them as kuffar and there's tons of videos as you see you know proving that point however let us see as long you are a person who you try to prove to us that islam brought something by quoting for us names who they are rejected and they are not muslims but yet you call them muslims but let us say for the sake of argument all those you showed me in the pictures all of them they are truly muslims which is not as we showed you but let us say this is true what does this have to do with the religion we have tens of millions of a christian scientist buddha scientist uh, actually the jews if you compare the jews their number population to the number of scientists they will beat everybody because in if uh, you know in, in many ethnic group uh, maybe you will have a scientist one from every million but when it's come to the Jews, actually, they are, they are, they are, uh, the number of scientists of, of, of Jews are scary. But what does this have to do with religion? What about you show me uh, Dr. Muhammad as an example, Dr. Muhammad, Rasulullah, the, the Messenger of Allah. Who is better for you? Al Khawarizmi, Ibn Sina, uh, 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 Al Farabi, who all of them they deny Allah in many ways. Uh, and uh, they try their smart ways so they would not be killed. Or the Prophet of Allah who have a PhD in biology as an example let us go aren't you proud about the Prophet of Allah teaching Christian Prince how to avoid having a son which is looking like him you know the reason I did not get married until now because I'm afraid that my son will look like me you do not know how I look like right? I look really scary and uh, 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 the, uh, which is good uh, the message of Allah said the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow which one of them, uh, 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 whichever of them comes first, the child will not resemble the parents. Dr. Muhammad, he teaches us now how to choose the look of the child. The one who comes first, he will he will decide. That's amazing. That is science. Who need this Ibn Sina? Who need Al-Khwarizmi? What about this? The Prophet of Allah is teaching us where the sun goes every day. As you see, I was sitting behind the Messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey. While the son was sitting, he asked, Do you know where they sit? I replied, Allah and his apostle know best. He said, It's set in a spring of boiling water, not warm. Hamiyah. Look here. The Muslim, they lie to us and they say, In the Quran, in chapter 18, where it says that he found the son, Zulqarnayn, he found it sitting in murky water. They say, Oh, oh, no, no, no. It sounds like it's appeared to him. But this is not what the Quran is saying and the proof in front of you. The Quran meant literally, that really the sun set not in the ocean as they claim as you see here it says in a spring of warm water since when a spring is an ocean it's a spring why do he believe in that because there's a legion before Islam believe that the sun go and take a shower from hot boiling water and this word it got its heat so the sun goes every day and dump itself inside that boiling water heated himself and go up again so why they are lying to us and why you are proud about scientists like al-farabi who, who is not a muslim who believe allah do not know while we have the best scientists ever in the world prophet muhammad who know where the sun set who knows where the sperm coming from as an example muhammad he believed that women have a sperm coming from the back from from the ribs and the men have a sperm coming from the bone is that true this is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Tafsir means interpretation. Chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7, etc. It says here, <coughs> according to Dr. Muhammad and his God Allah and his knowledge, that there is a sexual fluid come from the woman and the man. And the sexual fluid without it, the baby will not be created. Okay, until now, okay, we will let it go. And then it says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So my friend, why are you not telling me about Al Khawarizmi and the, uh, uh, those scientists? When we have the best scientist ever, Allah and his messenger, here we go, they discover that women have a sperm, which is stupid, and it's coming from their chest. Look, exactly 
the location is the location of the necklace proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women all right and then he decided and muhammad says he caught what muhammad said it and the women sperm is yellow in texture fine in texture the child will not be born except from both of them i.e sexual fluid so why you are quoting for you for me the scientists of those who they are not muslims when we have here the amazing science of allah what about god he think uh, your god that there is where, where allah he get the hail from hmm do you know where from did you watch avatar movie in avatar movie there is in the movie where is a flying mountains in the space exactly what allah says in the quran that allah he have mountains of hail and he break hail from them and he throw it in the ground let us see that chapter 24 verse number 43 and this is as you see the tafsir jalalain this, this is not me speaking so you don't blame me for what you will see in the screen it says that it's Allah who sent down from heaven out of mountains in the heavens he sent what he sent hail he sent hail out of mountains in the heaven and he strike with it the one he don't like so when you speak about scientists why you don't mention that the God from the heaven he sent hail and he strike with it people and this hail is coming from mountains that there are there in in heaven mountains where Allah he sent down his hail from so he break from the mountain hill and he submit at us or what about God and his followers believe that Allah he swear by a mountain which is surrounding the earth is called Qaf and this mountain is blue and the sky take its color from it and how you can surround the earth by a mountain unless the earth is a flat and that is mentioned in many verses in the Quran but I think we got the point the point is I'm trying to say to you Abdul instead of being proud about something like you know what the Abdul they do they are proud about like somebody is bold and he's proud about the hair of his neighbor exactly so he could not find something good in Islam to be proud about except those who they are not even Muslims Jabir ibn Hayyan himself is not a Muslim Jabir ibn Hayyan have nothing to do with Islam there's one of two choices either he was a Christian or he was Sabia everybody know that nobody agree actually he was a Muslim so Muslims, the uh, in ten years, twenty years from now, you will see they will say that the founder of the uh, of Apple company he converted to Islam when the guy he did not and he is not and later they might say even Christian Prince converted to Islam after he died. This is what the Muslims always do when you have no uh, nothing to be proud about. Bankrupt, you try to find something to be proud about, and that is the case we see in the front of us. So instead of being proud of Muslim scientists who they are not Muslims, what about you speak about Dr. Muhammad who believe in stupid things like the sperm stay in the women womb for 50 days? How Prophet Muhammad, actually Dr. Muhammad, he knew that. That's amazing that the sperm go to the womb and stay in the womb, in the womb. Nice to meet you, womb. For 50 or, he's not sure by the way, he's like 40, 50. Look how honest he is, Muhammad. 40, 50, my friend. The maximum date where sperm can live is five days. Muhammad, he just missed one zero. With this, I want to say thank you. And I'm so proud about Dr. Muhammad and his God Allah and their knowledge because they beat all science and all scientists. Don't forget to give a like if you like the video. And don't forget to download the video if you like it and to share it with your friends. And if you are a Muslim or non-Muslim, Leave your comment and tell me what you think. Can we prove Islam by Muslims or we prove Islam by Allah and his messenger? Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And this is how we expose it. Take care.